LJN made a video game console. It's bad enough they already monopolized the genre of shitty, dysfunctional video games, but now they make a whole fucking console. The biggest turd LJN ever shat. Let's take a look. Hours of creative fun, oh I'm sure. Do I really have to play this thing? I'd rather analyze the styrofoam that came with it. It's far more exciting. See that right there? Maybe somebody's cat stepped on it. See all the scuff marks? I wonder what that's all from. It's like an archaeological record. It's like styrofoam keeps a fingerprint of the past. It's interesting. Okay, let's cut the shit. Uh, let's hook this thing up. Oh. Oh, I hate these. These things come from hell. These are the devil's pitchforks that you have to screw on the back of your TV. The box says it's for ages five and up. Adult guidance needed for hookup. I think we're going to need more like spiritual guidance. So we plug this fucker in and here we go. Well, you have to admit, sure has a killer soundtrack. Yeah, next time you're having a conversation about best video game soundtracks, Mega Man, Castlevania, no, tell them about LJN Video Art. I can see it right now, like, huh, how does that one go? I don't remember that. Oh, it goes like... <laughs> the game has no sound. This is a unique specimen, not because it doesn't have sound, but because it outputs white noise. So technically it does have sound, but it's fucking static. This kind of shit is the reason the mute button was invented. Yeah, so turn the sound off, put on some Witchfinder General, and while you're at it, put on a different fucking game! If you turn on the console without a game cartridge in it, you get a blank screen that you can doodle on. The console comes packaged with one cartridge. If you put that in, you get a bunch of pre-done drawings that you can mess with. The joystick moves the cursor about. To draw, or should I say to scribble around like a blind golden lion tamarind on speed, you hold down the button. This presses the pen down, so to say. The joystick is already overly sensitive. One slight move and your cursor flies all over the place. Having to press down on the joystick at the same time as you're trying to move it only adds to the frustration. Why could there be a separate button, like Atari 2600? There are two other buttons on the controller, but they're for locking the verticals and horizontals so you can draw a straight line. Maybe we can get some lasers coming out of the parrot's eyes. Yeah, that's my best. The diagonals are the biggest problem. I just want to see if I can draw a circle. Ah! Oh. oh, man. Fuck! That's it. With my best practice, that's the best circle I can possibly draw. I can draw rounder shapes on an Etch-a-Sketch. That's my best spiral. That's my best person. I'm not joking around, the controls are so bad, that's the best I can do. Look at the family on the box. What could they possibly be so overjoyed about? Look, look, mom, yay, I drew a fucking line! Ugh. Can you even tell what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to give the panda a bottle of beer. I can't even make a visual joke here. This game gives me nothing to work with. Let's try to color in the nose. I can't even land the cursor inside the nose. Uh, 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 uh. When you're pressing down and rocking the joystick around like this, it squeaks. Oh, oh, that's awful. This is worse than the static, and this you can't turn down. So, guess you gotta get some really strong earmuffs. And just to add insult to injury, on the box, the panda is colored in perfectly. How can you market it as a coloring program when there isn't even a way to color anything in? Ugh, shouldn't there be a paint bucket tool? That's the most basic thing. Why is there no paint bucket tool? 
even Color a Dinosaur, which I thought was the worst coloring game ever made, even that had a paint bucket tool. This makes Color a Dinosaur look amazing. I've made better drawings as a kid in Microsoft Paint. Seriously, these are my actual drawings as a kid done in Microsoft Paint. Does LJN Video Art have any good aspects? Well, I guess you can change the color of the pen. You can change the color of the background. You can erase one pixel at a time. This is the worst thing ever. Etch-a-Sketch is better than this, and that doesn't even need electricity or forks to screw in your TV. You can give it the benefit of it being 1987 and one of the first of its kind. Later, there were games like Art Alive on the Sega Genesis, which was pretty cool, and Wacky World's Creativity Studio, which came with a mouse. But the one I have the most fond memories of is Mario Paint on Super NES. You can draw either freestyle or with a coloring book with plenty of different pens, brushes, colors, and patterns to work with. But it wasn't just about what you can do, but more about the overall presentation of it. For example, they give you so many creative ways to erase the drawing. It's unnecessary, but it's cool. Even the save feature, which takes an insane amount of time just to save one shitty drawing, is still cool because you get that catchy beat to make the time fly by. sound effects are so enjoyable. I mean, it's awesome just the way when you click on the different color sets, it goes higher in pitch. You can do simple animation, make music, even play a fly swatter game, and with the Super NES mouse, this was a fun experience. You can even mess around with the title screen. Looking back, it's not a very useful program. You can't do a whole lot with it compared to computer programs today, but what made it great was the presentation. It made doing the most simple tasks a lot of fun. LJN Video Art is not fun at all. It's a disaster. No human being should ever have the misfortune of playing this. And yes, the Styrofoam was more interesting. It doesn't even qualify as a video game console, but it comes with cartridges, so I guess, technically, it is a video game console. Well, then it's the worst video game console of all time. LJN has really outdone themselves this time. The only thing worse would be to play it on the Rollin' Rocker. Yeah, imagine that. So, this concludes this marathon of crap. 12 shitty relics from the ass of the past. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed in a strange way, I guess. You know, why do we focus on the bad memories? Why are we sentimental over the crappy past? I don't know, but I do know that the things of yesterday that were worthless, you've all found some way to give them worth. Uh, you've done this, I've done this, we've all found ways to just make the best of things, I guess. Maybe you're having a good holiday season, or a bad one, or an indifferent one. Whatever the case, I just wanted to bring you some joy. Uh, hopefully you got a laugh, or even just a chuckle, uh, because it's that time of year where everybody make happy, be a comedian, with all sincerity. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays in general, and I'll see you in 2015. Get ready for those self-lacing shoes, hoverboards, and flying cars! He's playing some games, the worst he recalls. He's gonna find out which one sucked the most balls. The angry video game nerd is here.